Hey guys, so this is going to be a video that's going to go over the capstone project day five and six, which is primarily adding an audio uh, conclusion and an image analysis. So we're going to go ahead and open up the instructions to go through it really quickly. So we're going to go to my website, click on the instructions here, and we're going to scroll down to note to day five and six. So when you get to day five and six, you're going to see that what you are going to supposed to be doing on the last two days of this project, which again is image analysis um complete uh, audio conclusion and then finalize your project with step c and then step d which is to do a reflection and we'll talk about that in another video so we're going to concentrate just on the image analysis and the audio conclusion so you are going to add one significant image that is that represents your topic and then you're going to do an image analysis what is an image analysis it's where you basically describe the main points of an image and how they connect uh, to the topic that you've been discussed and how they basically help explain it better. We do this in class all the time. You also need to record yourself an audio recording of yourself explaining or analyzing the image. So what you're going to do is you're going to write a script for both your image analysis and your audio conclusion. Now your image analysis should be somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. So first thing you're going to do is open up this Google Doc that I created you can see here you're going to write your image analysis script right here and you're going to write your script for your audio conclusion here if you write this and get this done you will get points and then when it's time to go record yourself you already have what you need to say so it makes it so much easier and you get points for it so you make a copy of it you'll name it first name last name period written scripts for analysis analysis and conclusion this is due monday 11 59 through e cadence um, and make sure your Google Doc is anyone with a link, because if you don't set it anywhere with a link, and again, you just click here, um, and see mine already has anyone with a link, yours will look like this when you open it. It'll say restricted, so you just have to click on it, make it anywhere with a link, and then hit done, and now it's ready to go. Otherwise, I can't see it, can't see it, can't grade it, you get zero points for it. So you're going to do that, uh, fill out the script for both your image analysis and your uh, audio conclusion. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, go to Wii Video and we're going to log in so we could continue working on, um, on the project. So we're going to log in and go to Google here and, you know, this takes you to your home screen, click classic, uh, it takes you to your home screen. And here is the video that I've been working on right here. So we're going to go on here. Now, what have we done so far? We did the, uh, the video introduction we did a slide information with us recording our audio we added our youtube clip and then we trimmed it so now it's time to do an image analysis now first thing we need to do is get an image so we're going to import this image from something that you already have so if you need an image you have to go download it so we're going to go to say to imperialism unit you know that was a unit a couple uh, of a couple of uh, months ago and then we're going to go and find a picture of let's just say this draft notice right here okay so we are um, gonna have to upload that image for our image analysis and again i'm just choosing this one particular picture to give you an example so then you're going to take the picture that's already been uploaded you see it's already ready to go and you're going to drag it right to your project all right now you're going to drag this and make it a little longer now, most of it is supposed to be 20 to 30 seconds long. So I'm going to just drag it just so when I start recording uh, my audio, my image analysis, that I could see the picture. And therefore, I don't have to try to figure out what to say because I'm looking at it. So I'm going to go back to the front and then I'm going to do uh, a narration. So click on here and yes, I'm allowing that. And then I'm going to hit record. All right. And now what's going to happen is I have to analyze this image. So I'm going to hit record. As you can see with this image that I uploaded, this is a draft notice for World War One, And this must have been one of the scariest things to be able to see in your mailbox. It showed that your name, where who you were, and it also told you that by law, basically, you had to report to go to boot camp. It told you where you were supposed to go. There it tells you there's a courthouse. It tells you the day and um, when you're supposed to be there. And now it is your job as a good American to go and to... Um, to report so you could go fight for your country is it scary yes but is it your duty yes so as a good american you showed up and this is the type of paper that you would get in the mail so we hit stop now as you see it's supposed to be 20 to 30 seconds i did 38 seconds so obviously i went a little longer than i hoped. 
that I should have. Now, if I have been keeping up with my outline and all my parts of my outline up to this point have been on, going over eight seconds is not a big deal. If I've been going over everything that I've been putting in here, like my video introduction was longer, my, my audio slides were longer, then I would probably have to record. But I'm just going to pretend that, I, that I'm right on and I'm going to click save. So now it's saving my recording and then the recording will pop up right here. So now I have to drag the recording and put it under my image that I just analyzed. Right over here. So now, as you can see, the image that I stretched out is longer than the audio recording of it. So I've got to take the image and I got to put it back and I just got to put it right there. All right. So now as my video, uh, my YouTube video finishes, uh, finished playing, the image of analysis is going to pop up. The image will be there. The analysis will be there. Now we got to talk about the audio conclusion. All right. So the audio conclusion is where you wrap everything up, where you tell us all the big ideas that you just talked about and any other information that you want us to know. And this should be somewhere around 30 to 45 seconds. So now we need to upload multiple images. And I'm looking at probably about four to five images that you should upload that have to do with your topic, anything visual. Now on these images, you're not gonna analyze the image. These images are for the person who's listening to your conclusion to be able to see something. So in the case that we're covering right now, and I used the example before pizza, I'm just gonna bring a whole bunch of uh, pictures that I uh, have already downloaded that has to do with my topic. And again, this is about pizza. So this doesn't really have to do with my topic. I'm just using them as an example. So then I could go ahead and put my five, say five images there. And now it's time again to record. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning of it here and then I'm going to do a narration. And again, this is where I do my audio conclusion. So three, two, one. All right, so, so far I presented my video introduction and give you all this information on my topic. Now it's time to conclude our presentation. And what I've been telling you so far is that this is important, this was important, and this was important. And one extra thing of information that I want you guys to know is this. And this is important because of this. The whole idea here basically, ladies and gentlemen, is for you to again sum up your overall idea, talk a little bit about what you talked about, and then give, give a little bit of extra information that will help close and finalize your project. Once you feel like you've done your audio conclusion, and again, it's so much easier if you've already done the written script on the assignment that I mentioned before, you hit stop. So now, as you see, our audio conclusion is 41 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. So now as that's saving, um, it's gonna pop up here. And now I got to put that under my four or five images that I downloaded for the audio conclusion. So as you can see this time though, my audio is way longer than my pictures. So I'm going to drag this picture all the way to the end, see where it meets. And then I'm just going to drag this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go to this one, put it right at the end or try to anyways, right there. And then make it a little bit bigger. And then this one, the same thing right there, make it a little bit bigger. And then take this one here, make this one a little bit bigger. So again, you should have somewhere between four and five images and then make this one bigger. So as you can see now, I've stretched my five pictures to meet the same length as my video, I mean, audio conclusion. So as I, if I clicked here and I would hit play, my image analysis would be playing. And right after my image analysis would go to my audio conclusion with all these images to represent whatever topic I'm covering. All right, hopefully you understand what you gotta do because the next step is to finalize it and to turn it in. So at the end of this project, you should have a video introduction, you should have four or five slides of information with you recording under each one of them. You should have a YouTube clip that you put in and cut into the exact piece that you want. You should have an image analysis with your recording of you analyzing the image. And then you should have um, four or five images to represent your topic as you do your audio conclusion. Thank you.